Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of season 2 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, cut him. 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. I know. I know. But what about Rotalia? This fucking mind someone. That is buddy Rose and Pie. That is fucking, you know, that's a care. That's a pretty care. We saved the pretty care. the fuck oh my god not only we, we gotta we gotta save the party cure cure flamingo but we gotta save our child bird okay who else did she play oh my god i'm blanking what what was the oh my god what is her name oh my god <laughs> what is her name what is her name Deja? you know her name mm -hmm. it's been like what it's been like a year since damachi season three yeah, 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 yeah. That one character? Yeah, 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 yeah. Her. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that much a season four coming out this year? Is it coming out in the summer? Because I don't remember. <laughs> I've been so... I, see, this is what, like, I sometimes love slash hate about having a job now and working so much and doing not only this, but then also working and then doing Patreon shit and you have so many things running through your head and on your mind and, ugh. It's too much. Because I don't even remember if Don Machi is airing in the summer this year. Yeah, no. I'll have to check after. I wonder if this episode pissed off some people today. Well, yeah, I had some help. What well, damn, we feeling some type of way. Okay, I get it. I get it. Fuck. No. Nothing! 
Okay. Uh, I thought it was something else, like a penguin or something. <laughs> Damn, mouth me, don't be rude. Is this supposed to be like an equivalent of a Pokemon? <laughs> Heck, you know, speaking of Pokemon! <laughs> Do you even have strands of her hair? Uh, yeah. Maybe.
okay, now I feel like we're going into Subasa Reservoir Chronicles and ish, and then the sequel of Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watch me end up naming that one Pokemon that came out in that trailer today. After I tell you, because it looks like Reptile. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Save my baby, please. Oh, well, dang, you just gonna stay there? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, because you can't have a big behind ship just being there, you know, waiting. I mean, duh, Deidre, but still. Wait! It's fetal. Hell, I want to kill him too, but you know, we can't do that. It's possible.
-hmm. Just be careful, though. He would put her in a room with birds. Of course. Oh, this is a needle in a haystack. Oh. But that is her. Crap. Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, heck, she even sound like Raptalia, so that has to be her save.
Why? Why do you do this? Why? <sighs> God. She's not dead because she's right there. If we could only see what's going on in her POV. Because, and I'm, I'm going to call the thing a Pokemon because it looks like a Pokemon. Because the Pokemon is still there. She's okay. But at the same time. Okay. We, we just, alright, you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's fast forward to next week. Let's do this. Let's do it. I can't wait. See, this is like, this like last Saturday, like Spy Family and how that ish ended, you know? Coming home from my birthday party and feeling like, okay, let me change out of clothes. Let me watch today's Spy Family. Getting that cliffhanger and being like, you know, maybe, you know, I should probably go ahead and read the manga. Have not done that, thank God. But, um, that was gonna burp every day. Especially with that freaking ending last week. I was super close to reading the manga. I mean, it's just like that with this series. But, I mean, at a point, I think it was more towards, um, maybe when season one ended, I was very tempted to read the light novel of the series. I still kind of am because I do want to, you know, see what would happen because, you know, we, we've had the discussion before about the potential season three, which could pop possibly happen. I'm not 100 Oh, wait, shut up. Oh! Okay, I got a question. Question. How can I hear? Okay, question. Question. Yes, pick me, pick me. Okay, so now does that mean we're, because that, that's called cut to my hero, so but we're, we're, we're going to see what, what's going on with what I tell you. Good, 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 good. 10 out of 10 would recommend yes, because like, it, it's so weird how we go back to last week and then we come to this week and I'm like, hold on, wait, what if they skip like whatever is supposedly supposed to happen with my family? Because, okay, so let's talk about like the situation of what recently just happened with this series. And we, I've talked a little bit about it on Twitter and then like one of my, like one of my subscribers and then one of my other friends, um, were also talking about this and such and how the, once again, as I said, you know, what let's call it Promise Neverland season two, you know, issues and stuff. And they did do something similar to that where we had a filler based episode and then we get back to the main plot after us. This show did that. We all know this show did that because that was where I had the little rage or, or rant saying, hey, I think Light Novel people should really just drop this. And because, like, no matter what, I was going to see how in the world this was going to end and such. And then I was like, okay, how are they going to solve this problem? So if we're getting that big, big, like, moment that she's getting next week, then probably next week maybe possibly might be the best episode for this second season. Because, I mean, we've had a lot of oh, interesting episodes and then eh, and then a filler. I understand the filler, but this is also why I say, once again, when you come in hot on a show, 
and it gets super duper popular and when you're trying to make that second season just as good if not better than the first and you're trying to stay in the lane of what the light novel visualized in that entitles but at the same time you want to add something that is filler based but not too too filler the filler and you know the canon kind of like they can coexist but sometimes like when you're adding it when you're adding the filler to the canon it kind of really somewhat confuses people one and then it makes it somewhat screwed up in the head once again bleach in a nutshell how like every single time when the freaking anime studio was catching up with Tete Kobo, they had to do a filler-esque art and people were pissed about the fact, because I, I can't say for Japanese fans, but I can say for English fans um, or anyone in, who's, who didn't, who hasn't speak, spoken English, from what I have seen in the, in the past for Twitter, a lot of people were pissed about the fact is we go into a canon point, like, okay, the fucking, oh my god, Jesus, what is that? What is that season? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The, I think it was the Iran cars? Or was it Wake Up Mundo? Yeah, that ish. Yeah, 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 That. And how we had, like, we were at a point where, okay, Ichigo finally saved Orihime. The best thing. And I was like, yes, let's go. Like, we're about to see, you know, the fight. <laughs> Return to Katakuna Town and everything. No. We we threw that away, and we were like, oh, we're going to wait on that. And we're going to go with filler-based season. I, I was okay with the filler-based seasons, but now when I do, like, my Bleach rewatches, I, I skip them entirely. And if I ever recommend Bleach, <laughs> Bleach to people, which I have, I always, like, literally give them this list <laughs> and be like, watch from here to here, then stop this, skip this big ugly behind arc because nobody cares about it unless you really want to see, like, a little bit of character development and such, or you want to see just funny moments or whatever, skip it. You don't need to watch it. It's not important to the plot of the show. You want the main story-ish. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. I do completely understand why people love that ish so much. But, yeah, but this is why sometimes we don't need that. I completely understand being like, yeah, you know, gotta be, you know, you have to honor... The Magakas. I mean, I've learned that from freaking uh, Bakuman about that and honoring them so freaking much. But at the same time, like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> just, ah! And it's the same thing with Light Novelists. You have to really be on their side and be like, yeah, 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 you know, we gotta honor that. But at the same time, be like, yeah, I wanna have my idea of this, is that, and the third. But then you end up pissing your audience off. Do you not realize how many people were pissed at that filler episode for episode nine? Nine. I mean, no, not nine, because this is episode nine. Eight? Eight. A lot of people was, you know, eight and seven were pissed about that ish. So, I mean, but they redeemed themselves. I mean, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> they sure did. But, I mean, the episode was good. Very enjoyable. Super duper happy Fido, Fido is back. But... If we're getting what I think we're getting next week, a whole Rough Talia episode, that's a 10 out of 10, and I can't wait, and it's probably going to be so fucking emotional for me. I don't know, but of course we ain't going to wait. Thank God I don't have to work next week. Well, next Wednesday. Yeah! <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode 9 of season 2 of the rising of the shield hero if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode 10 bye guys